Hello friends, welcome back. Today we would be learning a very important and a very different topic that is how to automate web applications using Excel. Yes, you heard it right. Today we would be using the Microsoft Excel file to automate web applications. So without wasting any time, let's start doing that. So if you wish to use Microsoft Excel to automate your web application, you'll have to perform the following steps. Please make note of these steps. This is a simple Excel file. On this Excel file, you could see this option developer. So it may happen that this developer option is not available in your Microsoft Excel. So do not worry, just perform the steps which I am showing and you would be able to see this developer option on your ribbon. So if you are using Microsoft 2007, Microsoft Office 2007, which I am using, the steps would be click on this Microsoft Office icon on the top left hand side corner go to the excel options button here if you would see within the popular tab the third option it is showing show the developer tab in ribbon just select this option this tick box must be selected and do an ok so if you do this you will have this developer option on your ribbon bar if you are using Microsoft Office 2010 or 2013, which I do not have on my system, but I'll just show you through this snapshot what you should do to get the developer tab on your ribbon bar. You have to click on the file tab, then again go to the options. And if you would see, you'll get this kind of thing, customize ribbon. So select that option, customize ribbon. And on the window to on the right hand side, you have this option customize the ribbon and in that drop down select main tabs and you'll have this option developer so this is this has a checkbox just select that checkbox and you should be good and you'll have this developer option in your microsoft office oh sorry microsoft excel 2010 or 13. so once you have this option available with you just click over there so you will have these options within the developer tab you will be able to see and you could see something called visual basic. So what you have to do is like just click on this visual basic option and this kind of an editor will open up and this is the place where we would be writing our code to automate the web application. Before starting with the code I'll just close this window once again and I'll show you a shortcut like how to come to this window with the help of the keyboard keys so I'm just closing this window and from this window I'm using the keys alt and function key F11 I repeat alt F11 when I do that I directly come to this editor which I would be using to write the code so the advantage of this shortcut key alt f11 is even if the developer is not available on the ribbon bar then also using these shortcut keys alt f11 you could directly move to the vba editor vba editor is the visual basic for application editor which is this editor which you are seeing right now on your screen so now i'll use this editor to write the code so when you are at this editor on the left hand side you would be able to see something called vba project or and your excel file name so what you have to do is do a right click select insert select the option module and here you would have something where you would be able to write your code you could rename this module like if you wish to rename this default name module one below you have this this property name you could write any name over here of your choice i am giving the name as automate and if you see the name has changed to automate now we'll start writing some code on this window so the syntax goes like this sub this is like a function like a subroutine 
any name i'm giving the name as automate automation i would give and when i press enter by default it has ended this subroutine with end sub like this has come by default as soon as you press enter after writing the function name it has come by default now this is the place where we would be writing our code so we'll just test this first so if i just write a sample code over here i'm just using a message box and i'm just writing hello to see if everything is fine and to run this i could click this green button on the top or use the function key f5 so when i do this you get this option macro name and this run so by macro name is automation this is the subroutine name automation over here and when i click run over here it has cor correctly displayed hello in the message box which was expected so everything up till now is working fine i'll just remove these lines of code and write the code to actually perform some actions on the web page so let's start doing that so the first step is variable declaration this is visual basic we are using visual basic though is the syntax of declaring a variable or an object in visual basic dim the object name i'm giving the name as ie for internet explorer as object this is as simple as a variable declaration which we have seen in java or any other language this is the syntax which vb uses dimension ie which is any name like the variable name could be of your choice as object the next step would be to initialize this ie object the syntax for object initialization in vba goes like this set object name that is ie is equal to create object like create object without any spaces and within the brackets within double inverted quotes we should specify which application we are trying to initialize in our case we are trying to initialize internet application so the name should be exactly like this inter net internet explorer dot application this name which i am highlighting is used to launch the internet explorer browser this should be exactly as i have written over here a very important point to note here is that this excel automation like if we are trying to automate web applications using excel you would be able to execute applications only on the internet explorer browser because both are microsoft product excel and internet excel because of which we are able to do this automation on internet explorer if you wish to automate on different browsers like firefox or chrome then you'll have to use some other tools like selenium this approach which we are seeing right now is applicable only for internet explorer automation so at this point our ie object is ready so now let's perform the further actions what i'll do is i'll use this ie object and set its visible property to true so that you are able to see the browser and the next step would be we would be navigating to a website so i'll again use this ie dot this time i will be using the method navigate and here after a space within double quotes i would be specifying the url which i wish to navigate so i mention a url so this is ready like when these steps would be executed you would see an internet explorer browser coming up and it would navigate to a website so let's go ahead and execute these lines of code and see whether everything is working as expected so to execute either you could hit the function key f5 or click on this green button at the top so when you do that if you see it has correctly launched this internet explorer browser and it has correctly navigated to this website 
so up till now we have successfully launched the browser and navigated to the website now what if i wish to click on this login button so i should know some internal properties some html properties of this login button which we could do so just by right clicking it and inspecting the element like same steps we could perform on the other browsers as well like we have been doing this on chrome browser and firefox browser we could do the same thing of inspecting the element on the i browser as well so if you inspect element you would be able to see the internal html properties of this login button and if you'd see this login submit is the id of this login button so if i wish to click on this login button i would be using this login submit the id of this button in the code and when i click on if i manually click on this login button here you see it shows it goes to another page so if the code would work properly we would be seeing this page post execution so let's use the id login submit in our code so let's go back to the vba editor on the excel so on the editor the syntax for clicking that button goes like this we'll use the ie object ie dot document dot get element by id within brackets within double inverted quotes the id which we just saw that was login submit this should be as it is we just saw on the html i'll just show you once again it is login submit in lower case we are using exactly like this and why we have used get element by id the reason is here the id property is login submit because of which we are using get element by id like uh, the things it is similar to the ones which we are using in selenium find elements by id name xpath here the id property is equal to login submit because of which we are using get element by id and the operation which we wish to perform is click so what i'll do is here i'll write dot c l i c k now this if everything works fine the login button should be clicked and the page which we saw should open so before executing these lines of code well, a very important thing like at this line which i am highlighting right now here we are navigating to this website so it may happen like it may take few seconds for that page to get loaded and after which you'll be able to see this login submit button and if we do not wait until this login submit button is visible then this these lines of code may fail so to avoid that i am adding few lines of code i'll just show you now these lines of code are very very important i'll explain you each line here in the first line we are checking if the ie object is busy like if it is taking some time to open that website if that is true then we should wait now we are using this application dot wait like this is the vba syntax it should be exactly like this we are using this wait statement and here we are using a function called date add now s means seconds like s should be within double inverted quotes one and the third parameter is now now in layman's language this line indicates that you should wait for 1 second and how long i should repeat this activity is like until the page is correctly loaded so we have used this do while statement like this is a do while statement of vb which will continue to exist until the url is correctly hit and the application is open once the application has opened correctly on the browser it would move out of this loop and go to this statement which would be performing the activity of clicking the login button so these lines of code are very important whenever you are navigating from one page to another 
make sure that you insert these wait statements so that your code would not fail so our code is ready just the last statement like once everything is over we should close the object so we had created this i object so to close the i object we are using a simple statement that is set ie is equal to nothing so this would close the object which we had opened so if everything is fine it should go to this website and click on the login submit button so without wasting any time we will execute this just click on this green button or hit the function key f5 like this so this website has opened up and if you see the second page has come up which means it has correctly clicked the login button so this is how we can automate web applications on internet explorer browser using simple vb language using the excel vba feature one very important thing like uh, once you are done with the code and if you wish to save the file like if you wish to save this excel file we do a save you could give any name over here i'd give i I, you could just give any name but the important part is save as type now here you should select excel macro enabled workbook please do not save it as a simple excel workbook select this option excel macro enabled workbook and click on the save button so now this file would be saved and we have learned how to automate applications on internet explorer browser using simple excel vba i would suggest that you use this approach if you have some daily task like if you are performing some task daily you could use this approach but if you have requirement of testing on multiple browsers and stuff i would suggest you to use tools like selenium so this was a very simple example wherein we just click, opened the browser and clicked on a button uh, we could do the other things like clear selecting options from the drop down list radio buttons that we would see in my subsequent tutorials i hope you found this tutorial which was different from selenium helpful i would see you in my next tutorial so if you like my tutorials i would just request you to subscribe to my channel so that you would have the latest updates the latest videos which i would be uploading you would be aware of that thanks for joining i'll see you in my next tutorial bye bye